Yeah, cool. Do you want to get started? Oh yeah, perfect. That's great. Thanks. Hi Ben. Hi Paul. Hope you're well. I'm good. You? Yeah. yeah, good. Thanks. Good. And um, I just wanted to ask you first, first and foremost, how, how did the move to Chelsea come about? Obviously, you, you played already, but how did the move come about, and and how did Frank Lampard and and perhaps some of the players, current players, help convince you to join? Um, not sure really. Kind of just happened quite quickly. Obviously, there was always. Um, there's been speculation for a few months now, um, you know, talk and things like that, stuff that personally um, not really got involved with. Um, obviously, my focus was finishing the season with Leicester and trying to help Leicester secure Champions League football, um, which unfortunately they couldn't do. Um, and then obviously when the season finished, um, it kind of picked up a bit of pace. And um, yeah, that was kind of how it happened really quite quickly. Went back to the season, um, well, pre-season at Leicester. Um, one day I was at Leicester and the next day I was um, talking to the to the manager of Leicester and on my way down to Cobham. So um, pretty seamless process really and spoke to the manager about it here. Um, and like I've said uh, previously, he was quite um, a big factor in me coming here. And of course, Thiago Silva has come in as well, Mendy too, in the, the goalkeeping position. How, how is that plan to, I guess, transform and, and improve the Chelsea defence and what it was last season? How's that plan coming along on the training ground? Yeah, good. Um, you know, I think with the players we've got here and the players that have been brought in, um, as well as the coaching staff, it's a good recipe for, for things that can happen this season. Um, and we're working a lot on the training pitch, you know, defensively um, in terms of, you know, conceding goals and hope, well, hopefully conceding less goals um, from set pieces and open play. So um, we're working hard on that. Um, and, you know, hopefully um, when we kind of build that team chemistry a bit more over the next few weeks and everyone kind of starts training more and getting back to match fitness and, um, you know, everyone's kind of together a bit more, it should start to gel nicely. And looking at, at sort of the career in, in general, what impact do you think joining Chelsea will have on on your England ambitions and ahead of a sort of a busy run of internationals coming up? Yeah, I think, like you say, um, obviously, you know, you've got the Euros coming up this summer, um, the World Cup soon after that. Um, Nations League is in there somewhere as well. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of important matches for for England coming up and big, big tournaments that obviously I want to be involved in. So um, playing for a club like Chelsea, I know that can only help help my you know my um my case to, to be a starter going into those tournaments um but you know again like i said it's similar to what the the scenario is here at england um there's a lot of strong players in each position so you know i'm fully aware that i'm gonna have to you know play well um play well here to to get that that space thanks ben Next thank time. you two questions for me okay, how are you doing? You're right. yeah i'm good moose you very good, thank you. Um, you, you mentioned about Chelsea having to work hard in terms of the lack of goals, or the number of goals they conceded to, to reduce that number of goals. Um, we've got some wonderful players. Why do you think that they haven't gelled yet? And what can you add to that team to, to make it gel? I think it's the same at all clubs, really. Um, you know, there's been little to none to no pre-season really um, it kind of feels like it's gone straight from the back of last season into this season and players have come in obviously we've got the whole um, Covid situation which isn't helping things um, injuries including myself um, you know Hakeem Christian um, you know a lot of so-called key well Christian last year key player and new signings that you know we haven't been able to train with the squad as much as we'd like um, Thiago is obviously quite new into the building um, Edu the new goalkeeper is new into the building so you know it's not been easy for us all to, to bond and gel together um, because we've not had the opportunity to um, but like I said hopefully over the next few weeks now that we're all getting back into training and full fitness um, you know that should be a, a positive for us and secondly the handball rule is going to change again from this weekend so if your hand is in an unnatural position with the penalty, but some that we've seen in previous weeks, so the Lindelof one, and I think the John Wall one from last week would not have happened, but the Eric Dyer would. I mean, as a defender, just just tell me about how crazy at the moment it is having to think about handball. Do you actually understand the rules? Um, it, it does seem to be a grey area. 
Um, you know, as a footballer, I can't <clears throat> comment too much on the rules because I don't make them. But, um, you know, when I've watched the matches, which I have, and seen the, the decisions, I know personally I wouldn't be very happy with the decisions, you know, when I've seen the ones that have been given. But, you know, it is the rules. Um, so we can't criticise the referees because they're just doing, you know, what they're, they're being told to do. So, you know, kind of... Um, and yeah, obviously, hopefully it, it's a rule that can kind of get clarified and cleared up a little bit. Um, and yeah, hopefully, you know, something that's best best for the game is what comes out of it. Brilliant. Good luck at Chelsea, my friend. Thank you. Okay, next up, Nick Hi, Ben. Thanks for your time. And, and just wondering, um, on the, you know, I know you've sort of spent a little bit of time in Ashley Cole, haven't you? And, and he's obviously had a, a fantastic career at, at, with Chelsea in England. I just wonder, is he a bit of a role model for you? And can he, um, can his guidance help you, um, you know, reach the levels I'm sure you want to at uh, Chelsea? Yeah, um, you know, definitely, obviously. Coming to Chelsea, um, as well as talking to the manager, a big um, factor for me was speaking to Ashley Cole when I came here and um, seeing the career that he had here. Um, obviously, I want, wanted to emulate that and um, still do. And obviously, it's a, you know, to have someone like that who's played for Chelsea, who's English, um, it was important for me. And, um, you know, I spoke to my agent because I was quite keen on getting to meet him so that I could um, just get to know him and uh, kind of pick his brains on what he thought of Chelsea as a club. And, um you know how he reached the success that he reached here, and um, you know, I, like I said, I was quite keen to to have that chat to find to find out stuff like that. And yeah, obviously, I'm going to work as hard as as hard as I can over the next however long, however many years to um, try and emulate, like I said, what what he's done here. And can I just? Um, I know obviously you can't give away any any, any secrets or anything like that, but can you just give us a bit of insight into into what he what he told you, what advice he's given you? Um, yeah, obviously he just said work hard. Um, I know it sounds pretty cliche, but um, the fans here love you know players that want to work hard and you know so so forth. Kind of die for the die for the badge sort of thing, um, and just put everything into you know winning for the football club because it's a great football club. Um, and he said when he first came in here, he he wanted to to win for the club. He he loved playing for Chelsea. Um, and he said, if I can kind of take that on board, that wanting to, you know, really love the club and win for it, then um, I should have a great career here. OK, Jerry Cox. Hi, Ben. You OK? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. you? Yeah, good. Um, you mentioned Frank Lampard had a big influence on you there. Um, what, was, what were your first memories of Frank when you were a young, young fan watching football? And um, did you ever think you'd be playing under him as a manager of Chelsea? Um, not really. Obviously, at that age, I was watching the Premier League. I was watching um, England playing, um, obviously, in the international breaks. And at, obviously, at that age, when he was playing, for me, it was more just enjoying watching England. Uh, obviously, they had a lot of great players, including the gaffer here. Um, and like, like, like you said, it never crossed my mind once to, that I'd maybe be playing under him in the future. Um, you know, it was just enjoying watching him play. He was a great footballer and... Um, yeah, that was obviously a, a big reason for me. Like I said previously, coming here was playing under someone that I idolised a lot, um, you know, and watched and respected a lot growing up. Alan Smith, football.london. Hi, Ben. Um, can I just ask you a little bit about the injury? Obviously, it seems to be, you know, take you a little bit of time to kind of get over it. We've heard it's a foot injury, etc. Was it the plantar fascia and were there sort of, what were the difficulties and sort of, kind of getting you know back to full fitness yeah um it was a plantar fascia and um obviously with the plantar fascia injury it's one of them things you can't come back too quickly because it just aggravates it so um although it's been frustrating because you know you want to play and when you join a new football club you want to you know train straight away and play and help the team um you know it it was one of them things if i rushed it i would have made it a lot worse so um credit to the staff here because They've kind of helped me um, a lot in terms of managing the load and making sure that when I do come back um, that I'm fully fit and, you know, touch wood, not going to have another, you know, episode where, you know, it might flare up again. Um, and that's the reason for building me back into the match minutes slowly, um, which obviously I'm starting to appreciate now. 
um, because obviously it's it's important that, that I get it right. Okay, we'll finish this section with one from Simon and one from Isa. Hi Ben, um, I just want to follow that up actually. Sort of, where would you sort of rate yourself percentage wise? Um, in the fitness stakes, are you sort of, sort of 50, 70, 80 percent? And and also touching on the Champions League, how much of a role did that play in making you want to join Chelsea? Because Leicester missed out, and how much are you looking forward to the draw later on? Are you, you're going to be having a, your phone on, etc. So sort of wait to see Chelsea getting. You must be looking forward to playing it for the first time. Yeah, obviously. Firstly, um, regarding my fitness. Um, yeah, and no, I feel fit. I played against Tottenham um, a few days ago. Played 65 minutes and felt felt you know very fit. Um, but I knew going into that match that it was only going to be um, you know like a 60, 65 minute kind of job for myself because, like I said previously, it's an injury that I can't you know miss steps out and just jump to play in 90 straight away because it's only going to aggravate it. So. Um, yeah, fitness-wise, I felt good. Um, my foot felt fine after the game, which is positive. So, um, you know, trained today, um, ready for the weekend. So, fitness-wise, I feel I feel very good. Um, and then, yeah, the Champions League stuff um, is obviously a massive, you know, a massive reason I wanted to come here. Everyone wants to play in the Champions League. Um, when I go away to England and talk to the boys that play Champions League, they say how much they love it. Um, obviously, I had a taste of it as well a few years ago and really enjoyed you know playing especially against Atletico in the quarterfinals so yeah you know it's a massive factor um playing Champions League like I said it's the the, the highest stage of club football um to really challenge yourself and um obviously at Chelsea with the great squad we've got hopefully we can do really well this season okay finish with Mazzella Hi Ben, thanks for your time. Um, just wanted to learn a little bit from you about um, Frank Lampard's pitch to get you to come to Chelsea. It seems like you're a good fit and he really wanted you as well. Uh, did you feel that and how much responsibility do you take on for improving the defence here? Yeah, um, you know, I spoke to the manager here and straight away, you know, kind of got that, you know, that feel that you want to play for him, you want to win for him. Um, you know, he won a lot of silverware here and I think it's important that you know, to play for a manager that's especially played for the club that I'm joining and, you know, loves the club, knows what it takes to win trophies here. Um, and I think that's a big reason why a lot of the players have joined here. Um, his man management seems, you know, top. Um, you know, even the boys that aren't playing will tell you that as well. Um, and yeah, tactically, um, you know, he's he's very good. Um, and he just seems like a really, well, before I met him, he seemed like a really good guy who, you know, like I said, you want to do well for. Um, and that was the main reason I wanted to come. Okay, we'll end the broadcast section there and now move on to the written, which is embargoed until 